Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srikant, representing the Center for Forensic Odontology, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal. This center is a collaborative effort between the team from Manipal College of Dental Sciences, Department of Forensic Medicine, Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore, and the aim of the center is to serve as a regional referral center for processing requests pertaining to medical legal cases. The aim is also to build a database to identify features and traits in this region of Indian subpopulation that will eventually serve in identification. Identification is an integral part of forensic sciences. Identity of an individual may be required not only in cases of natural disasters, criminal events, but also in civil cases and disputes regarding age, gender, etc. So how does this process of identification come about? The idea is to ascertain the subcategories of identity. These include age, gender, race, place of work, etc. The various techniques that are used to identify these vary from simple morphological gross examination to histological under the microscope, biochemical or even molecular methods which involves the estimation of DNA. The simplest and the straightforward way, however, is visual identification. This may not be possible all the time. In cases involving skeletonized remains, decomposition, burns, cases of drowning, the visual identifiers of an individual is beyond recognition. And they may not be reliable indicators of identity. In such instances, the relatives and the friends when they identify is equivocal. We may not be sure about it. The forensic team then resorts to skeletal indicators of age because the bone and the heart tissue is more reliable than the soft tissue. These involve radiographic techniques like a hand wrist radiograph, the shape of the pelvic girdle, the shoulder blades, landmarks of the skull, etc. Among the various skeletal elements, tooth deserves special mention. The tooth is a structure which is bound by enamel on the outside, supported with dentine in the center, and the pulp, which is very well protected inside, contains DNA. Also, tooth is unique as it exhibits sexual dimorphism, racial variations, along with age-related changes, and these can be used to identify the particular individual. All these identifiers come under the scope of forensic odontology. The Center for Forensic Odontology, Manipal College of Dental Sciences brings to you this six-month blended course on forensic odontology which emphasizes the various scientific techniques used in forensics. This six-month course teaches the participants the various aspects of forensic odontology through online lectures specially designed and delivered by our qualified faculty. The online platform used, Edunext, is time-tested and has a very good user-friendly interface which can be viewed in computers or even mobile devices. On an average, the participant would engage for three to four hours of online teaching per week. Along with the video lectures, adequate reference and reading material would be provided, which can be used to study more and will account for nearly 21 hours of student learning time per week. Online continuous facultative assessment would be done through quizzes, MCQs and case discussions. The hands-on training program would be conducted at the center on the sixth month, providing candidates and hands-on knowledge on the various techniques of forensic odontology. So who can join this course? Any medical or dental graduate or a graduate having a science background can enroll for this course. The lecture series would cover a wide range of topics as simple as history of forensic odontology to age, gender, racial differences that a teeth and associated structures exhibit, special mention on forensic photography, analysis of palatine rugae, lip prints and bite marks. The candidates would be appraised upon the role of forensic odontologists in mass disasters, child and geriatric abuse, which is an important thing for a dentist to identify. In the hands-on contact session, the candidates will observe and learn the fundamentals of autopsy with special emphasis on how to extract a tooth after the rigor mortis has set in. Also collection of oral specimens from a diseased. 
crime scene investigations, disaster victim identification procedures would be dealt with in the hands-on course. The candidate will also learn various techniques of age estimation in a gross tooth, under the microscope, on radiographic examination, which also includes orthopentomogram, cephalometry and cone beam computerized tomography. The bite mark analysis procedures and reporting would be dealt with during these sessions and you may present these evidence in the court of law using these reporting techniques. The mock court demonstration would further enhance your knowledge on how these evidence is presented in the court of law and how you should preserve these and what is the mode of transfer of these evidences. So in conclusion, this comprehensive course is well structured, has experienced staff members and has a blended delivery program which would be very useful and would give you an optimum insight into forensic odontology.